I think what's really exciting about this movie is the cast. Um, there's a series of fresh faces, actors that you may be familiar with, but you haven't seen them a thousand times before. They're going to bring life to the characters. Go! Go, go, go! When I did the casting, I very deliberately went toward actors from independent film because they bring with them something different, a different quality. Actress like Radha Mitchell, Deborah Karanger, Alice Creed, of course Laurie Holden. You know, it's much more exciting to see somebody who doesn't used to do this kind of film. The audience of this type of movie love that. For the role of Rose, we needed somebody with that blend of vulnerability but strength and determination as well. You have to feel her fear but also appreciate when she stands up to the, all these terrifying moments. We spend lots of time finding the perfect rose in terms of the sensibility that Christophe was having on this character. I was looking for somebody who, for me, was sophisticated and somebody very vulnerable. And I think that Brother Mitchell has both quality. We have to leave. Do you understand? The darkness is coming. It's very easy to fall in love with Brother Mitchell. There's a freshness, an energy, an excitement at life. There's this original look to her, all of which are precisely what we needed for the central character to lead us through this horrific environment. For the first uh, couple of days on set, I just ran and ran and ran. It was like run, run, or run. As the story goes on, the character gets tougher and stronger, and so hopefully you'll see that in the performance. We've also been playing the game and that has a definite effect on your performance as well. That's the sort of preparation, it's kind of primal training. Christophe is focused on, on female characters. There's something unique about seeing sci-fi or this sci-fi genre with just females leading the story in a way. And he's almost kind of exoticized the idea of femininity by polarizing it with um, the male characters who are sort of grounded in reality. And all the women are in this kind of fantasy nightmare. Sharon. It's a wonderful thing to work with Sean Bean. The man is so polished and professional in his work. Once he and Christoph had established who this character Christopher is, Sean Bean is that character. I'm in the real world, as it were, uh, and I'm looking for my wife, my daughter, who are in a, another dimension of time. My wife. We cast the part of Christopher and it was the last one that we cast and Sean Bean was a dream for us. He has a warmth of personality uh, that's always there no matter what role he plays. He has this ambiguous quality and it was interesting to, to invite this ambiguity into a very uh, positive character. The character of the husband looking for his wife. I think Christopher uh, goes through quite a lot of heartbreak whilst trying to find his wife and daughter. He's in quite a desperate stare I mean, throughout the film. Put both hands on the wheel. We needed to have a Sybil who was strong, authoritative, but empathetic and could make all of us care when she eventually will sacrifice herself. Laurie Holden's perfect for all that. She has all of those qualities. This is by far my coolest action role. She's an action gal, but uh, she's got a heart. You know, she's a real person. What I like about Sybil is that there is a duality. She is very strong, but is very misunderstood. She's mine! She's mine! In the role of Dahlia, we were very, very lucky to have Deborah Kara Unger, a tremendous actress who was willing to play this role. We always want to work with her. When Christophe wrote this part of Dahlia, it was already somewhere in the mind that Deborah Unger will play the part. When Christophe proposed to me the idea of being able to work together, I said yes immediately, and then I read the script. Christophe and I have had a professional relationship for nearly 10 years. She's fearless. She will have no problem with looking as strange or as extreme as any director asks her to. For a true beauty like Deborah Kara Unger to agree to do that, uh, I find amazing. I've never played a part like Cassandra Dahlia before. Dahlia's been a much more complicated character than I anticipated her being. 
It's surprising to me that I like her so much. I love going to work every morning. I think a lot of who Dahlia is is what Deborah invested her with and, and just the way that she looks and so on. A lot of that came from, from Deborah's concept of the character. I visited every link on every fan site and I personally got very influenced by the gamers. Well, you couldn't find anybody more different from Alice Krieg than, than Christabella. Alice is incredibly playful and, and sweet and, and generous. She's got this enthusiasm and the imagination of a child. And not many people have that, and I was quite inspired. When I first read the script, and this is not to my credit, I thought, what is this? Is this what, what sort of science fiction slash horror? I didn't even know it was based on a game. I've never played a computer game. I don't have a child. My nieces and nephews live thousands of miles away. And then I had to read it again, and I started to see the resonances. We must burn this child! Alice, she's bigger than life. And I think that Alice brings a dimension to Christabella. Christabella is one of those characters who can so easily become a caricature. And only someone with Alice's strength and focus and really precise technique could possibly create this character. I was very anxious about the language. Once again, we're locked in mortal battle. Christabella's speech is difficult to get right. Many times I said, the main character of this movie, one of the main characters of the movie is a little girl of 10 who's going to play four parts including something really yeah. evil. Look, look at the Where am I going to find a little girl who's able to do that? And not find only a little girl able to do that, but find also a little girl with parents happy to let their little girl do that. <laughs> when I first met Christoph, we were in the production office, and he said that at first he was worried that he wouldn't be able to find someone to play all three characters that were so strange. I will remember always the day Jodel came at the office, and she was walking into the, the office saying, where is the director, where is the director? He was watching a 15-hour miniseries. He watched it over the weekend that I had done. And I say, hi, Jodel, how are you? And she said, yeah. I'm fine, I'm fine. I say, you know, Jodel, you're going to play three different characters in this film. And uh, one of them is the devil. I always wanted to play the devil. He just said, perfect, so I'm here. <laughs> when Jodel plays Dark Alessa, it's almost like she's transformed and she's somebody else completely. And it, it's really quite eerie and, and, and bizarre. I've only ever played like a normal little girl like Sharon a couple of times. But most of my roles are like, are like Dark Alyssa. I played an evil clone once. <laughs> and I don't know how this delightful little gem who likes pink can so easily grasp terrifying moments. And then cut and crack a silly little girl joke. She's still every frame. I think she's somebody that's going to go very far into the cinema. Feels the resistance into your arm. To watch these transformations in these women has been very, very fun, and, and all of the characters are so distinct. It's certainly a female-driven piece, which is a delight. It creates a very playful environment uh, where we all have clearly different things to offer each other as characters and, of course, as individuals. Every day, everybody's been challenged and everybody's been really pushing their limits and, and doing the best work that they can and taking everything very seriously and really putting their heart into it. Really, there's a lot of love in it, and as much as it's a kind of dark, dark story, there's a lot of love behind the making of this story. Got it?